here for years, I think. It's really cool to check it out again. I know they have an uh, observation tower, so let's go there first. Tower trail. Nice paved trail and the boardwalk. It's it's then there this way. I just came from there. Look, they have these brick roads here. Now I remember. Really cool. <laughs> and this boardwalk crosses the brick road. Used to be when my kids were little, came here all the time. But now I haven't been here. It's on the other side of town. Jacksonville is so big. Last time I was here it was like four or five years ago. And I don't even remember if this is the trail that takes you to the observation tower. But we'll find out together. Yep, that's the one you see. It says tower. All right, let's keep going. We have another brick road. This is such a cool old historic roads. So I assume that this is the way to the tower. Hermit rush. Yep, that's the hermit. Hermit rush is the only rush spending the winter here in North Florida. They leave for the summer and come back in the winter. I can actually see the observation tower. There it is. It's not that big, but pretty cool. I kind of remember that it was bigger, but maybe it wasn't. I can see some birds from here. Mostly yellow and warblers. Common crackles. Lots of them here. See? With the white eye. I think it's a Atlantic subspecies. And then we have all bunch of wax wings. Lots of wax wings. See the wax wings. Oh, I just heard the pine warbler. Oh, grey catbird. They have lots of food right now. See all those berries? That's what they eat. So that's the grey catbird. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's such a cool habitat. Birds love it. How do you like it? Okay, I'm gonna head down now. Good morning. Hmm. Carolina Wren. That's our common year around bird. What are you thinking? Should I go? Should I not? Where I'm gonna fly next? Birds are really waking up right now. It's just everywhere. Blue green net catcher. It must be pretty cool. Look how many bricks they had to use to build this road.
let's head back to the nature center. I wonder if it's open, but it's probably closed yet, but who knows. It's a nice trail here. Lots of boardwalks, benches. There's only one problem here. Jacksonville Navy Station is right oh. close by and the airplane's taken off all the time. So they're making a lot of noise. So now I'm back and up front. That's the nature center. Let's see if it's open or not. We are sorry. <laughs> okay, history. The land was first leased from the Navy in 1979. In September 1996, 509 acres were dedicated as Westside Regional Park and included an observation tower, nature center and outdoor classroom. That's how it got started. So that's why they have those brick roads, because it was the military place. I guess they didn't need that much space. So now let's go and check out the other side of the Ortega River. There's another park over there. It's called um, Ring Haver Park. So it's close by, so let's go there. That's the Ring Haver Park. Wow, it's getting really warm. The temperature is almost 70. Last night we got a lot of rain. Yeah, look, it's all bloody. Yesterday storms came through. We had a tornado watch even. So let's take the trail and uh, go to boardwalk. Okay, Ortega Stream Valley Trail. They have a nice paved trail here. This beginning of year has been really warm. In the winter months, some days are warm and nice, some days are cool. But that's how Florida is. Look, it's nice there. I enjoy this kind of walks. This is my kind of place. Some people like city environment. I like nature. Not sure. Where is that boardwalk? Should I go this way or that way? It's always a little bit confusing because they don't have a clear marking. I'm trying to get to the boardwalk. I think it was another way, but that's okay. Just gonna walk this trail all the way to the end and see where it goes. So, is that the one? This trail goes nowhere. Huh. Wow, well, I don't remember that. Yep, it ends right here. Interesting. Okay, let's get back. Back to the trail. Okay. I think that's where it ends. I mean, it doesn't end, it just loops back. Yep, this one loops back. Just gonna cut through here and go to the boardwalk area. They have some cool looking oak trees here. cool. So this is the boardwalk entrance. 
they have now actually a paved trail here and they rebuilt this one I think they rebuilt it last year or a year before this trail connects uh, Ortega river this is actually a boat ramp or dock so you can access the park Ooh. This thing has changed a lot. Pretty cool. Oh wow, they actually closed up. Okay, I guess they didn't have enough money to fix it. So, <laughs> then might as well close it. Pretty cool place. Next week I'm gonna take the Amtrak to Tampa, so expect that. So the plan is to ride from Tampa back to Jacksonville. It's about a 200 something miles. Not much. <laughs> The next video is going to be then bike touring from Tampa to Jacksonville. When I'm on the road, I'm going to ride uh, with the like Hochi Trail all the way, all 46 miles. Stay tuned for that. Make sure that you are subscribed and uh, turn the notification bell on so that you wouldn't miss it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.